My name is Paul Horton. Um, I'm the founding fund manager for Derwent Capital Markets, which has been recently dubbed the Twitter hedge fund. It was originally um, an academic study. It was conducted uh, last year by Professor Johan Bollen and his uh, co-inventor, Huina, uh, Indiana University. And they wanted to see if there was a correlation between mood on Twitter um, and the stock market, the Dow Jones American stock market. And what they found was that there was a very high correlation between sentiment. But they thought that what they'd see is if the stock market crashed, they thought that people on Twitter would become sad or depressed or unhappy. Um, but what they found, it was, it was the other way around. It was people became unhappy on Twitter and then two to three days later the stock market fell. And then the opposite, when people became happy, the stock market rose. So that was kind of the eureka moment when they realised they'd got something very, very interesting. Well, short term, short term blackouts, if you like, aren't an issue at all. Um, because we're tracking the real time Twitter data um, daily. So if we had a blackout for an hour or 30 minutes, it's not an issue. It's just 30 minutes or an hour's worth of data that we don't have for that day. Um, so if we were monitoring Twitter um, for signals, say, every hour, then we would have a couple of hours where we don't have a signal. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to um, cause the fund to lose money. It just means that I don't have a signal to trade off, so I wouldn't trade. No, it's actually, initially, the very first few months, it, we had a lot of tech interest. People were just fascinated with the technology. And then it slowly converted into people in the financial world picking up on it. And our initial investors, as you'd expect, are private high net worth, ultra high net worth individuals who have the ability to just see something that they like, do a small amount of due diligence, like the team, and just invest. Um, the big guys, so the institutions, uh, the family officers, the fund of funds, uh, are all sat on the sidelines, very, very interested and um, slightly intrigued by the, the, the investment strategy we're using, um, who are just waiting for results. Um, so they want to see us. Uh, six months down the road when they've got some, we've got some track record, they can start to do some more in-depth due diligence on the operation, the assets and the management, etc. Um, but we understand that and we expect that and we just want to deliver and get those results and start to be able to take on these, these larger mandates from these bigger organisations. Um, we do keep in touch with Twitter. Uh, I've spoken to them a few times. It's very much in their interest for this to work because they're very much behind it because it adds value to their data, if you like. Um, and one of the ways that they're generating revenue is by selling their data. So they're very interested in it. Whether they'd ever be interested in investing in it or buying us, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not really kind of their avenue, I'm sure, that they're trying to look down. But I don't know. Who knows?